How's it going guys? It's Rude Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking specifically about payloads, okay? And this is going to be on the key croc. Now, um, this right here is the specific directions and information about payloads and how to use them and so on um, in their documentation here on Hack5. Um, and I highly recommend reading, reading this page at least and I'll link this in the video description, okay? Beyond that, we also have the um, key croc forum right here and um, right here you can also get um, to payloads so if you look at the main forum you have key crack and all the stuff going on in here and then as you click payloads it'll bring up a list of people who have contributed payloads um, that you can get from right here okay so this is this is pretty nice to be able to have um, have them right here um, if you click on a payload like this one crack ssh you can see the payload is right there and you know, you can copy it if you want, right? And uh, copy that payload and you can utilize that yourself. Um, looks like there's some variants and you can even download some files here if you'd like to get them that way. All right, so some other ways to get payloads. So um, one of the great ones is right here, obviously, this is the Hack5 Keycrack Payload Repository. And you can come in here and you can right click and you can download a zip of everything that's here. Um, or you can come in here and you can just look through payloads as you like um, and find one that you think looks really cool. Um, like here is Windows and doing a reverse shell. And obviously, you know, copy that guy and, um, you know, you know, paste it into a file. Okay. So um, lots of ways to get payloads. Um, another one, the one of the last ones here is right here. This is, these are my payloads for the key crack and this is what I've created for it and you got some different ones in here. One of the ones that we're gonna be utilizing is actually gonna be this one, which is um, WinSSH, Win and this is what I use to connect up and connect to um, my device over SSH automatically. It's really, really nice. Um, and we're gonna talk about more about, I'll actually talk about this exact payload here um, later on in this video, so we'll go through that. Um, so if you want a payload, I'm just gonna pull one up. Um, We'll just pull we'll just pull this one really quick for the fun of it so we'll copy it and copy right okay so now we're gonna bring this guy down and we'll get rid of that as well and right now you can see my key crack it's connected but it is not in arming mode so I'm gonna throw it in arming mode And it is now connecting up to the computer in arming mode, which means it should show up here in this PC. There it is. And I want to create a payload, okay? So here's where all your payloads are contained, okay? This is where you always have to put them. They're always in a .txt format. And anything that's in here is going to be loaded into memory so they can scan for information off these payloads when the device is running and not in arming mode. Okay, so just be, be aware that's what's happening here. So we wanna create a new payload here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here and you're gonna hit uh, new document. And then we'll just name it SOS2, if I can, oh, um, all right. But now here's the thing. If we open this up and we come in here to notepad which is default for Windows computers to opening text documents, um, this is not gonna work. We can't write code in here um, because the key crack won't recognize it correctly. So we really need to open up this file um, in another pro pro program, and I really, really recommend this. Edit with Notepad++. So now in here, we can paste this in, and it'll properly format this to do our um, SOS, okay? And and then you can just hit File Save, and you can close it back out, okay? So really, really, really simple to do, and now that file is officially on um, your key crack, and we wanna get it back out of arming mode, so we'll come back over here, we'll eject it just like we always do, and the device is out of arming mode, and we'll unplug it, and we'll plug it back in, and once it finishes booting up, um, this bad boy will be ready to rock and roll, and we can show you the way simpler way of doing 
coding and writing payloads from SSH because if you had to go in and if you're doing debugging of a payload because it ain't working right and you got to plug it in, unplug it, plug it in, unplug it, oh my word, what a nightmare. Um, and put it in a, in a, you know, arming mode and then back. Yeah, we don't want to do that, okay? So this is going to be the way easier way. And we're going to use um, my WinSSH um, command here. And this is what it does. So it opened up um, PowerShell. It went ahead and it's going to SSH right into the device with the proper IP, log in, and it's going to actually um, open up and go right into the payloads folder. So that is what that script does. Okay. So now let's actually look at that script. And the best way to look at that script is actually to use something called Nano. Okay. So Nano is built into the Keycrock. So um, I'm just going to type it in Nano and it's a text editing program. So my script for WinSSH is right at the bottom. So I'm gonna go tab. So if you type, if you type in um, the beginning of the uh, text file and then you tab it, it will auto complete um, the text file for you. So that's really easy, so it's nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit nano and then, so nano WinSSH.txt, hit enter. This is going to show you the actual file. Okay, so let's let's talk about what is happening in this file. I don't have any kind of commented information in here. This is strictly real basic script. Okay, so this is what this is what it's doing. So the first thing it's doing is it's doing a match on WinSSH. So we saw that right here. I typed in WinSSH on the keyboard that's plugged into the keycrock, and the device saw that and it said, "Okay, let's run this script." Now we know which one to run. Okay, so then it, it quacks lock, or it, there's Q. Q stands for quack, so it, which is ducky script or ducky language, and it says lock. So what that should do is that should lock the keyboard so that you can't input anything while it's running the script. Okay, then it goes to quack again, G U I R. So G U I R is the same as hitting the Windows key and R, um, which opens up that little search but bottom at the bottom. Then it sleeps for a second, just for a second, just doesn't do anything. Then, not even a second, just sleeps for one, actually. Then it quacks a string, which is PowerShell, okay, which types in PowerShell into the search, and then it quacks Enter. Okay, so it hits Enter. That's pretty simple, right? This launches PowerShell. So from here, I actually do this thing because there's a problem with NumLock, and if NumLock is not in the correct position, um, which I think is off, if I remember correctly, yeah, false. So numlock is off. If numlock isn't off, then any kind of number codes that get typed in through these scripts and these payloads won't type correctly. And the reason I do this is because I want my IP address to type correctly. Okay, so I just make sure that numlock is off, and I can do this in PowerShell with this code. All right. So then I hit enter to that. Okay, PowerShell says, yep, numlock is off. Then I come in here and I do my SSH. And then I don't hit enter. I then do this string. This string right here goes ahead and finds my IP address that my key crock is connected with and types it in. So then that, that gives it everything. Then I hit enter. Then I know it's going to ask me for the password, so I type that in. This is the default password. Then I hit enter, right? And then I wait a second. And then I type in this string to cd to the payloads directory. Then I ls minus al. Hit enter, boom. Then I unlock the keyboard. I can flash a finish LED on the on the key crock if I want. And I delay, and then I make sure the LED is off because I don't want it on. That's it. That's that's the script. Okay. There's a lot of unique things in this, but it's really really that easy. The other thing you can do is instead of doing Q like this, you can actually do quack. If I can put it in the right location. You can't do anything with your mouse. You have to move everything in here with your um, with your uh, buttons. You can't click with the mouse. Quack. Okay. So that quack and Q are the, exactly the same thing. So if you see them, they're interchangeable. All right. Um, you know, not 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 really a big deal. Okay. From here, it's really important that we save this file. Okay, because we made a couple changes to it 
um, even though, you know, if you're developing, you make a change, you got to save it, right? So we made changes. We changed these two from Q to Quack. Let's save it. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit um, Control X um, on our keyboard. And then it says, do you want to save the, just the changes, right? You've modified it. Say yes with Y. And then you can either backspace and rename the file here on the bottom, or you want the same file name, then you can just hit enter. And now it has saved those changes. But there's a problem is that those sa changes are not saved into memory. And if you try to run that script again or that payload, um, it's not going to work. So what we need to do without rebooting the device, we need to do re. If we type in rel, it does reload payloads. So we type in rel and then we hit tab. It should auto complete that and it's reload payloads. So then we're going to hit enter. And that payload has now been loaded back into the memory and it's ready to go again. Okay, pretty much that simple. All right, so from here, um, I'm actually going to close this and we're just going to run run it again so win SSH and if everything's right it should go ahead and get us right back into PowerShell and SSH right back into the device all automatically for us really nice and really really simple okay there it is all done and I even got a cool green LED flash on my uh, crock and then it turned off just like the script's supposed to do and there you go. That is the method of doing it. Now, this is awesome because you can do all kinds of fun stuff in here. And now you can write all your payloads right here from the key crack. The other thing you can do if you want to just view a payload is you can obviously do a cat. And then, you know, we'll build, view a real, real basic one like um, my shortcut one, which is really, really nice. So, so this is the shortcut file. And so we're not editing here, but we can view it here in the, in, the, in the shell. So this one looks for loots to be typed, and then it changes directory, and then it LSs. So let's just actually just run that, right? So loots. And this is just used for development reasons because now I can morph back and forth between my payloads directory and my loot directory, right? And you can view anything right here. So all development when I'm making scripts is all done right here in... Um, SSH in this shell and it makes it real simple once you know the little shortcuts and the tricks but that guys is gonna wrap it up for this video I hope you've enjoyed it um, stay tuned for more if you liked it please give me a big thumbs up and we'll catch you in the next video root junkie out